الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي لحبت في الله why is toba so hard for some of us what are those obstacles that prevent us from coming back to Allah Azza wa Jal and especially during this holy month of Ramadan this is the time this is the time when the the gates of of paradise are open for us and the gates of hell are locked and the shayateen the major shayateen have been shackled so what's stopping you a toba habit of Allah first a toba to fi shara toba and the shara toba habit of Allah turka them li kubhihi wa nadamu ala ma farata minhu wa azimatu ala turk al muawada wa tudaraku ma amkanahu an tudarak min al a'mali bi bil iyada bil iyada ahabatu fillah toba repentance it is leaving those wicked sins or sinfulness due to its wickedness or unpraiseworthiness or ugliness and feeling sorrow about what you have wasted or neglected with determination to leave returning back to those actions and that wickedness and avoiding or guarding against those things and deeds which will lead you back to returning to that action of wickedness some of the ulama they explain toba hi ruju' ila allah bi hil uqdati al israr an al qalb thumma qiyam bi kulli haquq rabb that toba or repentance it is returning to allah by removing those difficulties that are on covering the heart or that are firm in the heart removing those knots and that 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 uh that wickedness that covering which are grabbing a hold of the heart and then a part of the stoba is doing those things which are related to the haq of your lord you know worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i have to fill out what i want to emphasize here that in these both of these definitions and from the many definitions that we come across from the salaf of this umma with regards to repentance and what it means we see and we'll get into this when we talk about the conditions for toba in another sitting but we'll see that part of the one of the conditions for for making your repentance and what's inherent in the definition in toba or repentance is azima or determination because without determination ahabat billah and i'm not a counselor but in my limited studies in psychology and in some of these other sciences we see that the person who's addicted to something or the person who's engaged in something and also from life experience we see this that they only leave those things when they have this determination you have to have true determination this is one i think one of the key things and make it a toba because you can know that it's haram 
We, we know that it's haram. You know that it's unlawful to drink. You know that it's unlawful to have girlfriends and commit zina. You know that it's unlawful to watch pornography. You know that it's unlawful to smoke weed. You know that it's unlawful to steal. But whatever pleasure you receive from that, and those things which you're inclined to, you have to be willing to sacrifice and be determined to move away from those things. That's one of the primary things which holds us back. And I recall a, a story, and this is not to bring up my own sins, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, but in the beginning of my Islam, I used to have long dreadlocks. They used to lay on my shoulders. And I would never, never, because they represented so much to me about my culture, about my music, about my people, about this and that and the other. The first few years of my Islam, I refused to cut them. Matter of fact, no one, people were afraid to approach me about this issue, especially our brothers from immigrant communities. They would tell the other brothers from my tribe to come in uh, advise me. And that only made my heart harder. Why? Because I wasn't determined to remove that. For one, I didn't really know whether halal or haram anyhow, but I was determined. When they told me that, when they gave me da'wah, that just made me firmer because Iman wasn't deep-rooted in my heart. I was still a new Muslim. I was still new to Islam. But only when I became determined to make certain changes in my life, and when I knew that it was impermissible, that this was not befitting of a Muslim, because it uh, hampers making your wudu properly, and it has uh, issues where it can restrict hygiene or, or, or other issues with, with having that type of hairstyle, but especially with regards to the wudu, that only when I became determined, when I became determined, did I leave that and cut my hair. And this is very indicative of someone who's in sin, ahabatifillah, or it's relative to the situation of people who strive with sin. Because if they're not willing, they know that it's muharram to drink wine. But they're not ready to give it up. They're determined to remain upon that. So until they're determined to leave the ma'asi, then they haven't fulfilled that condition of tawbah and even fulfilled tawbah in its definition. What's implicit in the definition of tawbah, which is azima, to leave that ma'asi, to remove that from your heart, to remove that from your environment. And we ask Allah the Almighty, to bless us with good and forgive us of our evil. And may Allah bless us all with tawbah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. And bless us during this holy month of Ramadan to come back to Allah because this is an opportunity.